<laughs> Good. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. How are you this week? I'm just going to see if I can see you all. What have you been up to this week? Do let me know what, what you've been up to. Um, say hello, let me know where you are. We've had a lovely week this week. I'm just going to see if I can scroll down and see anybody. I see myself. Yeah, we've been doing lots of sew alongs this week as usual. It's been fantastic. Um, yeah, we had a, had our last dressmakers tutorial uh, on Monday. So that was that, I can't believe that's uh, that's finished already. So um, but we we normally have a sort of hand in and a celebration lunch on our last tutorial, but we're going to delay that to um, May. So we will get to see each other again. It's lovely. It's lovely, lovely to catch up with the ladies on the dressmakers portfolio every week. Generally, we have fortnightly tutorials, but during since January we've been having weekly tutorials on Zoom. It's been lovely. Oh, hi Phil, how are you? How are your buttonholes going? Hi Jackie, nice to see you. Hi Angela. Hi Angela, how are you? Oh, Sue's here see on you. Instagram. Sue Cotton's here oh, on Instagram. Hi, Sue. How are you? And uh, Julie Morris is here. Julie. And Tups9. Do you know who Tups9 is? I don't, know. I don't recognize some of the. Um, Instagram's Instagram difficult. We have, to, we, have to guess. <laughs> yeah, we have to guess hi, on Instagram. Hi Catherine, how are you? Thank you for booking Couture Skirt today. That's going to be lovely having you on that as well. Very exciting. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. Hi, Catherine. It's been nice to see everybody. Yeah, so the tutorials are just before we were finished on Monday, and then we went straight into doing sew alongs on Tuesday this week, our first Tuesday sew along, and we made the Makes Atelier Summer Dress, and we actually finished that by the end of the sew along. How about that? No homework on that one. That's amazing. Through, actually. And then we did uh, um, Wednesday and Thursday, we did the um, paper cut patterns. Palisade pants, which are a really nice pair of trousers. I'm really pleased with mine actually. I was going to wear them today actually, but I didn't know what to wear on top today because they're purple. Hi Carolyn, how are you? Hi Carolyn. Um, so yeah, finish our trousers and again, finish those before the end of the sew along on Thursday. I don't know, we're getting good at this. Getting good at this. I'm heard of. I know it was. Hi Joe. Hi Joe. Excellent. Joe's going to join us on Thursday evenings. We started our uh, dungaree class, the using the Merchant of Mills pattern, the Harley dungarees. And it's a classic sort of denim dungaree, sort of workwear dungaree, but because I, I wasn't sure whether I'd wear them in that particular style, so I'm making them in silk. Um, so that's been fun. Oh, hi, Mary. Uh, she's Hello, Mary. She's able to watch from New Jersey. Oh, lovely. So nice to see you. And I saw you on uh, the other night, didn't I, Mary, on the Claire Schaefer Zoom, which was really, wasn't it good? We looked at more of Claire Schaefer's jackets on Wednesday. Very exciting that you're was, joining yes. us on our New York trip and cruise next oh, year yes next year hi ruth oh, oh ruth had her covid jab today so she's on the sofa poorly. yeah i felt a bit poorly afterwards as well ruth so a couple of days i'm all right now though i'm all right hi margaret, hi, margaret. are margaret. you happy with your palisade i keep saying palisade pants i mean that's very american isn't it? it's palisade trousers i think we should say palisade trousers and jan's doing the dungaree reads, reads with us so she's doing her uh, her sample that's good oh margaret's finished her palisade trousers <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. <laughs> I can't mean to say that over the sew along Palisade trousers rather than Palisade pants. I'm really happy with mine. I didn't. I should have put them on actually at the end of the sew along, but because everyone finished early, I will put them on and take a photograph. So I'm really pleased with them. Margaret's pleased with hers. So they were a nice pair of trousers. They had elastic. They've got elastic that comes almost round to the front, and then you have pockets on the side. So very pleased with them. So they've had a really lovely week. And then this morning was the last of our Friday morning couture classes. So we had a lovely time doing lots of couture samples. We did buttons and buttonholes this morning. Hi Jen, Hi, how Jen. are you? Jen's, Jen's uh, joined us for the Revere shirt the other day with the um, silk blouse. How are you getting on with your silk blouse, Jen? I know you had a, a few delays, but you'll, be, you'll get it done. You'll get it done. Having lunch. Oh, that's good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> watching, your, watching us in your lunch break. So it's been a, a yeah, lovely week. So couture finished today. So then um, next week we're not doing a Friday morning. Then we've got the underlining class the following Friday. So it's lots coming up. Next week we go straight into some more sew alongs. We're doing the contemporary sweatshirt on Tuesday. And what else have we got? Oh, we're doing the Nia Lee Mayfair dress. Oh, I'm excited about yeah, that Yeah, on one. Wednesday and Thursday. My fabric for that one is gorgeous. Yeah, really nice. To, looking forward to making that. That's a It's a really lovely dress made in stretch fabric. So it's jersey fabric and it's got a sort of Stand up collar and gathers down the front here, so that's very nice. Hi Claire, how are you? 
Oh yeah, she had the COVID jab, wait till it worked up for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I was the same. Just keep taking the paracetamol, Claire. You'll soon feel better. I felt better by about Tuesday-ish, Tuesday. But yeah, it's all right. Oh, Jackie's joining us for the Southport dress. I'm oh, also yes. looking forward to that one, Southport Jackie. Southport dress, which is in a few weeks. I've got the pattern here. So if anyone wants to join us for this one, we've got a few spaces on that. And I have got the pattern, so you can book the sew along and then buy the pattern as well. That's it's going to be a really nice dress, that one. Looking forward to that. Made it, making it in a, is it a viscose crepe? I've You've got, got a viscose, mm. a heavy viscose. I've decided to change my mind, so. Oh, yeah, so you'll have a surprise fabric. Yeah. Amy's having a surprise fabric. Uh, Jen says she's had the Mayfair pattern for ages. Ah, oh, yes, that's good. I'm glad you're joining us for that one. It's a great, that's going to, that'll really suit you, Jen, actually, that, that dress. Afternoon, Janet. Hi, Janet, how are you? You only practice of your buttonholes? Have well, you done your FBA yet? Oh, yes, lots of things. Jan Janet's been very busy this week. Sent us a, showed us a picture of her lovely bright, big pink um, cutting mat that she's got on her dining room table. That's what you need, isn't it? Very big cutting mats on your table to make it easier. So yeah, next week's gonna be another busy week. So that's all we're doing the uh, finishing the shirt dress, week three of shirt dress. We're having great fun on shirt dress. Great I love the shirt dress. Great scenes. Amy's made a lovely, Amy's made the full length shirt dress with big splits up the side. So very nice, that one's gonna be. Yeah. I'm trying to finish mine a bit sooner because I want to wear it Easter weekend. Oh yes, which is only next week. Next isn't it? week, because it'll go really well with my now finished denim jacket. I nearly finished my denim jacket. Hi Karen, how are you? Hi Karen. Nice to see you. Uh, I think I, I think Janet might have put a link to where she got it from uh, on with her sewers, Catherine. But if, I got one that was similar to that, a great, but it's grey from on Amazon. Um, but yes, Janet, perhaps Janet, you could tell us again where you went from. Was it an Amazon purchase? When we got your one, though, the big one there mm. were loads of options actually yours is grey one side and I think isn't it pink, is it pink the or other? purple the other side I can't I think remember. it's pink on the other side it might be, it might be. Uh, Jackie says we need a fashion show from you two I know we did say yes. once we've got the load finished we'll do one of our like our shopping haul video yeah, we'll, we'll do, do a try made on. up yeah we'll do we'll have to keep jumping in with our clothes yeah also they'll all be on display when we have our exhibition in the summer yes we always we normally we have an exhibition and open day every July and of course last year we could have had a lovely exhibition and introduced you to our new space but of course we couldn't so we're hoping we'll be able to do that this year and all the ladies in the dressmakers portfolio will be able to show us everyone what they made and all the things we've made from the sew alongs will be here all my twirls that i've made <laughs> uh, twirl so, wardrobe twirl wardrobe uh, ruth says the pjs look lovely she'd like to wear those right now ah uh, yeah these are the the carolyn pajamas which we're doing a sew along for in a few weeks and also i do it as a workshop here in the sewing room and it's a great one if you want to learn how to do piping and things like that. It's a great one. Well, there we go. Janet says the cutting mat was from Amazon, £70 for A0. There you go, Catherine. Oh, I didn't get that comment. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There you go. Oh, did I miss part two of the fabric haul? Mm. It is on, uh, yeah, it's on, on Facebook and Instagram. On yeah, YouTube. the Facebook, uh, it will take you through to our YouTube page. Mm. I put it, posted it up slightly differently this time. Yeah, yeah. I did it last Saturday, Janet. Yeah. How do you store oh, large, large cutting? I put mine under, under, under the bed is the best place because you don't want to stand them up. I normally stick mine under the bed when I'm not using it. Or on top but, of a wardrobe or yeah, something like that. Yeah, of course it's out most of the time at the moment. I've got on the table, she's got a cutting mat on it permanently because <laughs> no one's coming round. So. <laughs> so yeah, under the bed if you're not using it is a good place to store cutting mats. So yeah, Carolyn pyjamas, Ruth. I'll, Great, I'm looking forward to making another pair because I made these as my sample for the class and of course they're white law, I've never worn them, they're just the samples so I'd like to make myself some to actually wear. Uh, and Amy's made them for, you made something in Nan, I made didn't some you? in silk for my Nan for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, made them for yourself. <clears throat> I haven't made them for myself, so I'm making mm. mine in Jersey. That's right, you are, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I'm going off grid that. again. Yeah. Classic. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So. Yeah, so that's another one that's coming up. I'm sorry you're feeling poorly. I know exactly how you feel, but it's only lasts a couple of days and it's so worth it, isn't it? Isn't it exciting when you get your jab? How ridiculous it was so exciting. Um, so yes, other things I saw on Midhurst Sewers this week were um, Sally's lovely denim jacket. Uh, Jen is saying that we're pixelated. I think it might be your end, Jen. It looks is okay anyone here. else? Is anyone else? Looks okay Experiencing on mine, Experiencing that. You might need to refresh your page. Oh, me too. Have refreshed, refreshed the page a couple of times. Oh, no. 
We have had a few little Wi-Fi issues here recently. Yeah. I wonder if I turn the Wi-Fi off, would it be better? No. My no. bed has... Oh, I can see it because it says on my screen Oh, Margaret's now. saying me too. Oh, no. Is that ours? Yeah, pis... Oh, no. Everyone's finding it pixelated. I don't really know. Is that on, is that on Instagram and on Facebook? It's I know, on Facebook. Oh, and on Instagram too? Oh, no. Well, we better pixelated, I wonder. We're pixelated yeah. on everywhere. Uh, oh, to do that, Alice says it's all good for her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll clear in a sec. We did have a couple of uh, internet buffering things on one of the lives, on one of our so logs, didn't we? And then it suddenly... Oh, it's corrected on Instagram now. Suddenly cleared. It looks like it's cleared Oh, it looks Facebook. like it's cleared. Weird. Yeah, my when we were on our Zoom call earlier, um, the internet was going up and down here. And yeah. it's just... Oh, okay, yeah, Francis is here you. and everyone's saying it's just improved. Oh, it's good. Oh, good. Maybe we just had a little yeah. minute of bad internet. Bad. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> thank you, Cara. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Phew. Oh, yeah, we're saying it's very Oh, just correct. just correct it. Phew. Yeah, just correct it. Oh. oh, excellent. Even in New Jersey we were pixelated. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're back now. We're yeah. back now. Yeah, we'll check up on our router because it shouldn't yeah, be doing that. It shouldn't. We've got fibre broadband and everything. It's supposed to be super fast, isn't it? So we have, shouldn't mm. get any um, pixelating. I'm just having a quick look at my screen. No, no, it's all good now. I'll just look at the comments. It's I'll all good now. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, just before that, I was talking about um, Sally's lovely denim jacket. I think you saw a bit of uh, Sally finish her denim jacket. So we saw Catherine's the week before. And uh, Amy and I both nearly got Amy's finished hers. I've nearly finished mine. So we'll, we'll put those up at some point so you can see those. But Sally did a great job on her denim jacket. It's a brilliant one. I also saw, um, oh, who put Sharon put hers up on Instagram, which was a blue one with red panels. Which no, it was red with red panels. Red with red panels? Blue yeah. blue. It was a red and white stripe. Oh, uh, that's panels. right. It was a plain red panel. That's right. That's right. Really lovely. You might have seen Amy put up some pictures of her Linton, lovely red Linton that she's bought, and some options. She's asking me advice on what option to make for her. Skirt, so she's gonna make a decision today, aren't you? Amy? I am live yes. on air. Live on air. I'm she gonna make a, decision. make a decision. I am still undecided, she's literally still looking at it there. I've got them hand. laid out behind me, so I'm I think I've narrowed it down, but yeah, it's it's a really tricky one. I think it's gonna end up, I'm gonna to have to make two. Oh, that's an option, yeah. <laughs> just make yeah. two. Yeah. It's just, yeah, because I really can't decide. I mean, really, there's three or four that I could use, but stop it. I know, I've narrowed it down to two, I know. I've narrowed ago. it down to two. Put those ones down. So, yeah. Oh, Karen's having the same problem. <laughs> oh, it's so difficult. Tricky, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It's really hard. I haven't bought mine because I've got my I've got some for my skirt, but I haven't got it for my jacket yet. So I will. Yes, we put so much work it. into the couture uh, garments. You oh, Jen said right. she said she was flying solo. Then all voted for the one with the dark fleck. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't want to still hang around, Jen. I think. Yeah, I, I like do that really one. like that one. And then we're, oh no, but there'll be that one. <laughs> that one. That's the one that Jen liked. Oh, okay, yeah, that yeah, is nice. It is. I'll bring them all in to show everybody. When and I then come in. maybe just close your eyes and pick them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like all of them. Karen's <laughs> got three options. It, oh. They're all so lovely, aren't they? It does help. Well, no, actually, it didn't help putting it on mid hair sewers because I think I had an overwhelming response and they were all different. Yeah, there was no, there was no majority, was there? There was one that maybe has swung it, but we'll yeah. see. There wasn't. So. <laughs> So yeah, that's going to be, uh, Amy's going to make a decision today. I am. Order it. I've got to order it, because I need to get the lining on yeah. Monday, so. That's true, we do, yeah. So then, so as well as that, there was Jamie's place. So Jamie uh, does come to a few sew-alongs, but uh, she sent me the pictures of her finished garments, so I decided to post them <laughs> on the Mitter Sewers. So you could all see what lovely work she's been doing. She did a lovely um, Tom and Linda Platt dress, which in the, in the sort of coral and dark colours. Uh, and then the um, kimono jacket, as well. What's that? Jim's Mine are from Deep Stash. Ooh. It's made with pink linton. That sounds <gasps> nice. Oh, that Jen, sounds did you lovely. Send me some pictures of those. Then we can make a dress or a jacket or a skirt to go with the shoes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, Jamie's uh, kimono is lovely, beautifully nice, similar colour to as, as the uh, Tom and Linda Platt dress, and then her beautiful uh, couture jacket that she made. That's the second one that Jamie's made. Um, and uh, this one she did all the trim again made lovely fringing and she sewed on beautiful pearls all by hand it's very therapeutic sewing on all those lovely pearls in the trim beautiful to see so and then of course there was Justine who had been making her fabulous uh, um, fabric scrap collection using the, the fabric scrap bags from Get Cutie 
you may have seen those and she's been doing lots of pattern matching and um, not pattern matching pattern what would you call it clashing really, clashing it? Yeah, yeah pattern clashing put lots of different patterns together to make uh, fantastic garments so if you're interested to have a look at that it's on mid her sellers fantastic justine that's absolutely brilliant really inspiring must take you ages i mean just even choosing um which fabrics to put together really great really really great so i can see you've all been very busy this week so what about those of you that haven't put your pictures up you've been busy as well what else have you been doing i'm hoping to do a bit of sewing again this weekend last weekend i made a twelve my palisade pants that's what i did last weekend but you know i mentioned last week about uh, trend patterns and i literally i ordered this the um, trend patterns are really lovely patterns and they have got some kits which i mentioned last week and i ordered this one I think I only ordered it on Friday before the live and it arrived on Saturday, so good work, Trend Patterns. Um, so this is the one for the box pleat shirt and if you order the, you can order the patterns on their own and in fact they've got 15% off their patterns this week, until Easter I think it is, with the code SPRING in capital letters. You get 15% off, it's not off the kits but it's off the patterns. Um, and that's the paper patterns and the PDF. So go and have a look at Trend Patterns. I ordered the kit, so I got the pattern, I got some lovely cotton poplin, some interfacing and some buttons. So. I might have a go at that this weekend. Yeah, you should. Yeah, Make something cool. I really love it. Make something a bit different. And then maybe we'll do a trend pattern so long. So do some lovely patterns. We have a hoodie to finish. Oh, Jen's got the hoodie to finish for her son's oh, birthday. And blouse. And a revere blouse. Yes, because you've got, you've got builders in. You've got builders, haven't you, at the moment? Or decorators, Jen. So that does hold you up. We had a couple of legs on the sew alongs this week. Suzanne and both Suzanne's, wasn't it, actually? Yeah. Who were like battling, trying to hear what they were doing with the building going on in the background. But uh, I think you've just got, got builders in. You've got to say yes, haven't you? You right? do. Yeah. So yeah, do have a look at trend patterns. I love their patterns. Really great. Another new pattern that came out this week, you might have noticed, is the Makers Atelier Makers Top, which I've got a copy of. I might, oh, I might make this this weekend as well. This is a bit simpler, so I might make this first. It's a fairly simple top with a nice nice collar and pockets on the front. Woven. You can make it in that blue linen that's in the back of the car. Oh, I could. Is it a bit thin? It wouldn't matter. It'd be a nice, like, over... To, over. Yeah. I will. I have to tempt. I'm tempted to make it in a bit black than I got at home, but black. <laughs> maybe not black. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi, mum. Hi, hi, mum. <laughs> oh, Claire. Mark, Claire's saying that her denim jacket's in the naughty corner. Uh oh. Oh no, get it out and finish it. Yeah. You know, I nearly finished mine today, actually, Claire, but I, I didn't have enough buttons. How annoying is that? I think I must have counted the buttons and then decided to change the spacing or something. And so, forgotten about the breast pockets or yeah, something. Yeah, and forgot that I needed two here as well. So anyway, I've ordered some none so that they'll be finished next week. Yeah, get it out and finish it. <laughs> so yeah, have a look at this pattern for the Makers Atelier, the new Makers Top. Um, Francis said that it was inspired by people asking her for practical tops to have in the garden. It's got pockets in the front, so it'd be really useful. I think it'd be useful in the sewing room. I can think of lots of things I could put in these pockets. So I'm going to get that made this weekend. Just done the So Different Artist Smock, which is like that. Oh, similar yeah. idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, like, it's like an artist smock, isn't it? I like the collar on this one. It's a bit like the, the, um, oh, it's the French like dark the French dress. dark, yeah. Like the Very dress, similar. So combinations. And it's got little splits at the side. So if you made the, um, if you were with me doing the Revere, Revere blouse, we did little splits at the side. You know what, so. as well as like being a practical one, it would look really nice in silk. It would look nice in silk. And with some palazzo pants. Yes. It would look lovely. What a nice yeah. outfit that would be. I'm sure I've got some silk. I can you could do it matching. You know, like when yeah. you have a matching top and trousers. You could do the wide leg trousers mm. and that top in like a heavy crepe machine. Gorgeous, yes. That reminds me of Sally Scott. Wasn't she doing something like that on one of our retreats in that she burnt did, orange? It was, uh, yeah, she did the wide leg trousers and the burnt orange. We used it for... Well, the and that style, was it a style yeah. pants? The style up, the daisy tunic. Yeah, but it's um, that having the matching is so yeah, stylish, isn't lovely it? lovely tunics. So... I always love these, the uh, Mexitelli patterns can often be a real blank canvas, you can look at them and you can suddenly see all these different things you can do with them, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to making that. That oh, would be good, like Christmas wear, Christmas outfit, or oh, cruise wear. Cruise wear, definitely. Yeah. So you can have a have silk Have a crepe machine outfit. <laughs> it's nice silk, so I'm going to go on about this all day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we do? Yeah, what else can we make with Answers on a postcard, yeah. girls. <laughs> you could do colour blocking, you could do different colour pockets. Turn the pen to the outside. Lots yeah. of things. Anyway, I love that. Really lovely. So that's a new one that came this week. So I'll get that done this weekend, I think, hopefully. I mentioned the Southport dress already, didn't I? That was the yeah. one. We've got lots of these in stock if you're doing so long. 
Um, another thing that uh, I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago, this book, it was a pre-order book and it's arrived now. I don't know if I'm going to get the time to read this actually, but I really want to read it. It's called Glossy and it's called, it's the um, inside story of Vogue and it's through the eyes of all the different editors. Um, so it should be really interesting. Um, yeah, because you know from watching Devil Wears Prada what it's like in the magazine world, so. Yeah, so that's, that means that's available now. It was a pre-order, so I got it this week. If you pre-ordered it, you should get yours. Um, Glossy by Nina Sophia Morales, Inside Story of Vogue. So, a few things that have uh, arrived this week. The other thing that arrived this week was my um, Guterman Shea card. We've talked about these before, because you know Bloomsbury Square have these in stock. Look how beautiful is this. You need to hold it up for Facebook, so you can't see it. I know, but... <laughs> there we go. So and it's real thread, isn't it? This is a you can get. There's two versions of this. You can get one that's real thread, like this is real thread, and you can get one that's just printed colours. Um, but it's really difficult at the moment when you're ordering thread online. It's very difficult, isn't it? So um, this is a really lovely, lovely thing to have. And Bloomsbury Square Fabrics have got these for seven. They're eighteen pounds. You can get them for Bloomsbury Square. Uh, so worth having. Yeah, it's nice to have. So we've got one here now. So how lovely is that? And I think also it's got a chart. It's got a chart on the back that tells you. Uh, all the different types of threads and what colours are available in them and I think it's got somewhere, it's got another bit, here we go. Because as you know, if you look at the Guterman thread stands, all the threads are in colour order but they're not in number order, which is... It's because over the years they've, they've added, added so many, they've added, they? So it's really annoying, so they've got a, there's, a, there's a column here so you can look up the um, number and it'll tell you what column it's in. So. Oh, Catherine said she ordered one earlier uh, today. Janet's got one. Yeah, oh, are. Julie Morris said hers came yesterday. They are fantastic. Janet's so. got one. I think Karen said snap. I'm assuming yeah. it was that. <laughs> I have these for DNC embroidery threads. Yeah, so if you do embroidery thread, you can get them as well. And it's so oh, that helpful, reminds me of the shop. Yeah, we had one of those, didn't we? Nanny, do you remember? Yeah, the DMC, the DMC embroidery thread. Oh. oh, yeah. That's, that is actually from the old DMC embroidery stand. stand. Yeah, we used, to have, I used to have a fabric shop, those of you that don't know, I had a fabric shop for about 13 years, so I stayed with my mum. And uh, the, my girls, Amy and Alice, blew, grew up in the fabric shop, so there was no getting away from it. Oh, Jen says we're pixelated again. Oh, uh -oh. No. Is that the same What's for everybody? On? What's going on today? Must be, there's a storm coming, isn't there, I've heard. Does that Maybe affect Wi-Fi? I don't know. <laughs> Don't any, know how it works. Any excuse. Any excuse. It looks okay here. Yeah. It's really weird because it looks perfect on the phones. Yeah. But obviously. It's a little bit pixelated again. Oh, no. Sorry, we're going to have to just keep going. Sorry, Polly. Yeah, yeah pixelated <coughs> people. Listening. I don't know what's you. causing that. I wonder if. Hang on, I'm just going to try on Instagram. First, oh, Alice says it's fine on Instagram, but I'm going to turn Wi Fi off and do it from hopefully it doesn't, yeah, do it from data. Maybe it'll be better. Oh, the video pause. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, Instagram, are we back? Sorry, I just had to turn my Wi Fi off. Um, I don't know if I want to do that on Facebook. No, that's just Instagram true. paused. <laughs> when it I did that. Up. Yeah, it looks okay on my screen again. Okay. Keep calm and carry on. Says, yeah. Says Jay. Yeah, we'll keep calm and carry on. <laughs> Ruth says Insta's good. Is that our, oh, our, so our views on Instagram. Ins yeah. yeah Every, everyone on, jump onto Instagram. Yeah, have us on both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. What else have I got to tell you today? I've just ordered some lovely fabric from Fabric God, you've got Fabric Godmother. They sent out uh, an email this week with their new viscose lawn. Oh, it's viscose. cleared again. That's oh, good. good. Thanks, Jean. Good. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a look at Fabric Godmother. They've got some lovely new um, uh, viscose lawn and viscose crepe, viscose linen, viscose linen. Uh, in some lovely, they're calling their vintage collection and it's all really lovely prints. I've just ordered some for my summer ruffle dress, actually. Um, so they've got some lovely new fabrics. Also, Liberty, if you like a bit of Liberty fabric, they've got 20% off at the moment. We like a bit of Liberty, don't we? Love it. We do. Um, and did you see what other news, the other news I saw was that, as well as the Makers Atelier new patterns, Closet Core have brought out their ultimate loungewear. And I did like their sweatshirt. Yeah, I it's really like It's like a hoodie like it. and it crosses over at the front with a big pocket. And I think all of it, there's about four variations, yeah. but I think they might be all on the same pattern. And Maybe there's a, do it a trouser as well, isn't there? There's yeah. like a jogger. Yeah, so have a look at the new closet core pattern if you like some nice loungewear. 
that's uh, really nice. Yeah, I do need a new hoodie, so I think I'm going to try that one. There and are a lot around. The, oh, we're doing it on Monday. We're doing the contemporary on Tuesday. We're doing the contemporary special. That's we're doing the hoodie, aren't we? I love that. that. We really <laughs> like that one. But you know, you never have too many. No. Of those. So lots of things to look out for this week. Um, somebody said about Sherwood. Did Sherwood have an offer this week? Sherwood did have another offer. They. It tends to be actually Sherwood have an offer every week. They do, don't they? Yeah, every week mm. I get an email they've got another 15% off or 10% off or a free bit of lady yeah. power. So it's always worth checking with Sherwood Fabrics. Have a little look. Um, we, we were on a sew along this week and Suzanne out in Guernsey had a delivery from Sherwood because so, we had to have a look and see what we she did. had. We did. They were a little bit slow on, they're about 10 days for delivery. Oh, so don't order anything if you need it tomorrow. Oh, there we go. Margaret did say she feels like she's done with lounge She wants to be out in frocks. Yeah, okay. lots of dresses, Margaret. Dresses. I agree. <laughs> I've got making all these nice things. I need to go and book a load yeah. of dinners. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We have to start booking restaurants and things. Maybe. Yeah. Still a little way off from that. Only a couple of weeks though, isn't it? Uh, a couple, couple of weeks and we can sit in a pub garden. Yeah. I've booked one already. <laughs> <laughs> So I was going to do a little demo today. I thought because I, I thought I would start adding some new sew-alongs because you know we added a whole load in one go. I haven't added some for a while, so um, I've added one for a few weeks' time on a Friday morning, one of our technique classes, and I'm doing um, sewing machine feet. So I thought I'd just show you a couple of sewing machine feet that we might not know about, um, and uh, and then if you want to do the sewing machine class, you might find lots more as well. So I'm just going to move everything forward and bring. The sewing machine over, and Amy's going to come in with the camera. I am. Oh, sorry, that's just pointing at your. There we go. Oh, look, you always do this extreme close up. Because well, I'm sorry. Really unflashing. I have to move the camera. <laughs> so, these feet that I want to show you today are for embellishing, so for doing a bit of decoration on your garments. Um, so, you could do this on some of your dresses, Margaret. There we go. We're doing things Oops. Up. That was a bit dodgy, wasn't it? Right. Oh, not, not the dodgy. I'm sorry. My camera work there was absolutely atrocious. <laughs> the first foot I want to show you is right. for beading. This is for putting beading onto um, your garments. And when you buy these, these, these are the Janome feet, but I'm sure most sewing, machine, uh, most sewing machines have these feet available. And these are the dif for different size beads. Use that one. And it has to be the, the sort of pearls or beads that are strung like this. Uh, and you can use this foot to put them on. So you could draw yourself a, um, a design if you wanted to. So you could draw yourself a design of how you want your pearls to go on, maybe on a border, or you could do, you can't really do sharp corners, but you could do sort of rounded corners. But you could draw yourself a design, or you could just go freestyle on it. So you put this foot onto the machine. Can you see this okay? I think so, we're going to attempt it anyway. We're going to attempt to do this. And you select your zigzag stitch. And I normally start off just with the the default stitch. So on the, on my machine, it's stitch width three and stitch length one point five. And put your oops fabric underneath your foot, and then put the pearls underneath the foot as well. So just do like do an extra lift to get the pearls underneath. There we Is go. this the foot? No, there's oh, two different sizes. I was sizes. just gonna. Oh, okay. There's I was gonna do the sizes. close up of the foot. We'll do it after. That is one. That's one of them. There's two different. Feet. So they have like a little groove in the bottom. Groove. Yeah. If you can see that. So now these pearls sort of are in between sizes. They could go in either one of these feet. And then I'm just going to do the first couple of steps manually. So it's just a locking stitch first. So it's my arm in the way there. No, you're all right. There. there we go. And then you can just stitch forward. And you can follow your line on the machine. I'm slightly off my line because I'm doing so funny. Oh, is my bobbin thread not caught? Uh oh. Two secs. Two secs. That's going to happen on live, isn't it? It's not caught the bobbin thread. Oh, it has. It had caught it. So oh, it had worked. It had worked. It did work. Let me just do it again. It looked like it hadn't worked. I'm just going to go over that again. It's just on my line. So yes, you just I'm just gonna do my first couple manually as well, just to make sure. There we go. So all you do is you stitch forward and you can follow your line or you can make it up as you go along. So if you want to turn, just follow. And the foot will keep the pearls in the right place. There we go. I'm 
not following the line I drew at all because I'm at a slightly odd angle from this and I can't quite follow it. But you can see. So you can, you can really easily sew these pearls onto your garments. It could be a neckline, it could be a border. Oh my goodness. Hmm? I want to do this on everything now. I've never seen this before. Have you not seen this? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, done, haven't done my sewing machine. Thing. I haven't done the machine peak. There course. we go. So they're stitched on. I've done that with a pink thread, but you could do that with a you could do that with a matching thread or a coloured thread. So I didn't go. I didn't follow my line that I drew. That was just to give you an example. Um, but isn't that great? So it's a zigzag on the back, but it just goes across, and you can add pearls to anything you like. We Love like it. a bit of decoration, don't we? <laughs> we were saying the other day that we want to start embellishing more. Embellishing everything, yeah, I think. So that's called the, um, the beading foot. And when you buy that, like I say, you get two different size feet. So you can do quite small beads or big beads as well. And you just need the strong pearls. The other foot I wanted to show you is called the three-way cording foot. And it looks like this. Can you see that? I'll let you do that. So that's it from the front. And you can get, um, you can actually get five way cording feet. I have my little scissors here. I'll just, oh, I put, them, I put them in my little stand. And then left your stand. Left my stand away. over there. So for that, you need, um, you need some lengths of cord. I'm just going to use embroidery thread today because that's what I've got. But you could use something like a crochet cotton or. Um, a two ply wool or perle or something like that. Um, which size did I use? On, is that the foot? I used the mm. larger of the feet for that for those pearls. So for this one, it's a three way cording foot, so you need to cut three lengths of cord. So I'm using embroidery thread today. And then you knot them together at one end. Like this. So you've got your three pieces of cord all knotted together. Just spread them out so you can see them. There we go. And then the idea is to put the three, like three, this black bit here is like a clip, so you need to put the cords underneath the clip. And if you can really see that, there are three little channels there. I'll put it underneath and you'll be able to see. So you put it underneath and you put one cord into each channel. which is only being fiddly because I'm trying to show you and, and uh, not look at it too closely. So that's my other one. There we go. There. There we go. So I've got one piece of cord under each channel and then I've put the knot underneath the foot. So that's underneath the foot, like that. Okay. Excited to see what's going to happen here. <laughs> so you what to... kind of wizardry is this? <laughs> I love showing you new stuff. <laughs> and the funny I thing prepare is, for all these I classes. The I never get to go on them. You do the kits. And things. I make all the kits for these classes. Can I do, the, I do this at the shows. I don't know what happens on them. No, so you need to come. Oh, hi Cynthia. Cynthia's joined us on Instagram. Oh, hi Cynthia. We're just doing a couple of fancy machine feet, Cynthia. Yeah, we are. So I need to select my triple zigzag stitch, which is, let me show you, it is, oh, on this machine, number eight. Okay, so it's the one that does three stitches up and three stitches down. Number eight there. So Can't start get it off, on Instagram and Facebook. Quite yeah. <laughs> so again, start off with the default stitch and it's going to do three stitches over. So you can just make sure that it's going over all three threads. And if it's not quite, just make sure mine's not quite wide enough. So I'm gonna just make it 5.5. There we go. And again, same thing. You can go wherever you like with your stitching and it will keep the threads all nice and even. I can say it's a bit easier when you do something like crochet cotton, it's a bit thicker. So you can go round and round. And you can get five-way crochet um, cording feet. I haven't tried a five-way one. 
Would you still do that with a three-step zigzag? Just make yeah, it just wider. Yeah, just make it wider. Yeah. Just make it wide. You can play about with the zigzag. And you could put, so you could do a matching thread in your zigzag, you could do a metallic threads. Imagine doing this with metallic threads or variegated, with variegated cords and things like that. Mm. Okay, you can do all sorts of things. And then just come off at the end. Look. All sorts of things, and you could do so. The zigzags cover ooh, zigzags covering the whole of the um, stitch. You could do all sorts of spirals. Um, use different color. You could do different color threads, different color cords. You could also do just two cords. So you could do one on each side and leave a gap in the middle. That would look quite nice. Or just one as well. Or would you just use one. the same foot if yeah. you wanted to do just one. Yeah, you could use just one. Oh. Yeah, same thing. Just make the zigzag smaller. So that's a really it's a really useful little foot. Actually, you can do all sorts of decorative stitching with a three-way cording foot. Let me just snip that cord off so I can show you. That foot again, there we go. So it's got a little clip there and three channels and that's what gives you that effect. So there we go, two little ways of doing some embellishing on your projects. Wow. Cording foot and beading foot. So if you want to know more, I've got lots of other little, I've got lots of feet like this. Lots of things <laughs> that I could show you for doing embellishing. So if you fancy finding out about more different feet, and also, obviously I'm, de I'm demonstrating on a Janome, but most companies do these different feet. And if you've got feet that you don't know what they are, you'd like to know how to work with them, um, then join the sew along and we can look at those as well. Quite good doing it as a sew along actually, because a lot of people come for this class here mm. and don't have the, all their feet with them. No, exactly. And then they don't know. Yeah. You know, if somebody's got a Benina or a mm. Faf or, or a Juki. Yeah, we can work out which we one's can actually which. see them this yeah, time. Which one's which? So I hope that was helpful and it's giving you some ideas. Uh, Cynthia's saying, is there a Benina foot for this? I'm sure there is. I wouldn't know which it is. I'd have to look it up for you. We need to get a list of all the feet. Yeah, we do. What I need to do is get a is get a list of different machine feet, and I can say that the Benina one would be this. That's a good idea. And brother, I know brother had one. I'll have a look. If anyone's got a Benina, because some people have got Beninas and they have all the feet, don't they? Sally would know. Yes. Well, Sally. Could you use beading foot for putting chain at the bottom of a jacket? No, I don't think so. Please, that's someone trying to get that's out. Margaret. Of that's Margaret. That's <laughs> um, Margaret. Catherine says, what letter is the beading foot? She was answering an email. I don't think it's got a letter on it, typically. Oh, that's the interfacing falling over over there. Yeah. No, it hasn't no. got a letter on it. That's annoying, isn't it? It's just called a beading foot. So over lockdown says, Benina, do a book of feet. Uh, we'll have to get that one. We'll need so to we, get then it. Then we can say which ones are comparable to our Janome ones. So, yeah, Margaret, I don't think you can... Um, use it for the chain. I think the chain would fit through the gap, unfortunately, even on the bigger foot. I'm afraid that's it got to be... It would be great a, to do this as a sew along class. Yeah, somewhere. we've just added it, uh, Cynthia. It's a Friday morning class, just yeah. added. I think Janet, um, I think Janet's done it at uh, the show, didn't you, Janet? Didn't you do it with me at the show? And we did lots of different machine feet. I think it really helps doing it at home because you can, mm. they, people can show you in their feet. feet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes, oh, I've just broken a nail, sorry ladies. Um, <laughs> Ouch. Anyway, um because you're fiddling with that foot. Fiddling with these feet, yeah. So <laughs> when we do it here, obviously you get to play with all the Janome ones, but then you might go home and not have one, so so you can see them all and you can play about with different feet. So yeah, Janet, if you fancy doing it again, because it's always to, sometimes when you're here you don't get time to play with all of them, do you? I can demonstrate all of them. I've got flower feet, ruffler feet, sequin feet, hiking feet. Oh, it was here, was it? I could, you know, that's terrible, isn't it? I don't know what day it is, Janet. I don't know what day it is. So you fancy doing that. I think it's on the 16th of April, on a Friday morning. One of our little technique classes. So we'll, we'll play with different machine feet. 
If you've got any, then if you've got any feet that you you know you don't know what they're for, or you're not sure what to do with them, there's always often with some of the machine feet that we use, there's always one or two things you can use them for. So I try and think about different things. You'll know if you come to my sew alongs, I'm always using quarter inch feet for lots of different things, and ditch feet for different things, line ten feet. I'm just spilling time now today. It's getting nice. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm sure I'm supposed to be doing something. <laughs> something missing on this program. Yeah. Amy's got a great cocktail for us today. I'm excited about this one. Yeah. Really good one. But first of all, there's stuff to do, Amy. Am I coming come in now? Is coming in now. Oh, yeah. It's your time. <laughs> it's your time to come in. Did you want to chase Instagram before you come in? Uh, Instagram is fine. So, yeah. Sorry, Instagrammers, I won't be able to see your comments now. I'm moving over because I'm good at this now. Oh, yeah, oh, hang on. That's what you meant, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if you can move the... Oh, yeah, no, that's good. All right. Yeah, perfect. First time. Excellent. First time. <laughs> oh, hi, Barbara, how are you? She's been out for lunch. Oh, been to... Oh, been fish and chips. Oh, lovely. Oh, no, Barbara. Take away so fish and good. chips. That sounds really nice, Barbara. Hi, everybody. Uh, what do I think of the zip foot that Kenneth King's? Oh, I do use that quite a lot, Claire, actually. That zipper foot, that's the adjustable zipper foot. So, yeah, I use that for all sorts of things. You can get really close. We'll talk about that one. Yeah, I have that, and I have that one for sale, actually, because it's a universal foot, so we do sell that foot here. So, anyway, sorry. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> you've had a great week. You've been finishing things this week, haven't you? Yeah. I'm very good. I have finishing two things. finished garments. Uh, actually that I'm wearing. So yeah, this is my skirt. denim skirt. Everybody that was on the denim skirt class, this is my denim skirt. Does it look great? And this is my little cardigan that we made right back at the beginning of So Along. Yeah, this is a Jennifer Lauren Cardi. All I had to do that. was um, put the cuffs on and, and I did little snaps. So they're little ring snaps. Really good. And you can see the fabric through them. Mm. Love your hair scarlet. Oh, thank you, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. I have the same fabrics red for the couture skirt as well. This is the decision, isn't it? Come this on. This is Come it. On. So anybody that is on Ahmed Her Sewers will have seen that I bought this gorgeous red. It's so pretty. For my couture jacket. Do they call it a basket? Is it one of the basket It's a ones? basket wig. Basket yeah. Wig. So this is going to be my couture jacket. Are you going to make a fringe or are you going to use this? Uh, I don't I don't think I want to use that. You want to a bit more? Well, I was that. considering making a fringe from whichever one I pick, but okay. I'm just going to see. So, But it is quite a nice. Bit it's a bit gappy. Yeah, you have to double it up. Mm. So anyway, this is my couture jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so and then I decided that I wanted to do a couture skirt to match, so I could wear it together or separately. So I ordered a load of samples from Linton. Um, I posted oh, them up. Oh, the same same fabrics, red yeah. for the couture skirt. Mm. Well, for my couture skirt, I can't decide. Um, still this one wasn't right the right red but i really liked it, it had little silver it's pretty yeah little silver bits sticking out but it's not the right red it's at all dark. so that one out um, that easy yeah this one is one that jen really liked and i really like it still what fitness is that you can make a dress out of that yeah i really like you it you can make a dress out of that one that'd be nice yeah it's a bit it's want... cottony isn't yeah, it yeah it is mm. so i think i'm holding on to this sample then uh, it was down to three. So <laughs> we have this one, which I can't tell. I think that must be the right side. Linton's look gorgeous from both sides. I, I think it's that side. I think it's the side with the it. label on it, isn't mm. it? So there was this one, which was whiter. This one has a little brown in it, but actually thinking about it, that's quite thin now. Yeah, the skirt we're bit. going to be underlining is silk organza. Yeah. So, so this one is, uh, it's got some glitter in it and brown. And then this one is one of their couture fabrics. So it might not even be available. Um, oh, it might have gone already. I keep doing that. I keep looking at the couture So that's ones. a red and cream mix. I'm doing yours the other way round. Oh, I'm doing you that too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Barbara. <laughs> so between the three, I think. Go on, go on, do it. <gasps> I'm going to go with that one. Cool. Does it go though? Oh, do you know, I'm just looking here and I'm thinking that red looks better. This isn't this. the right red, is it? This has got a better red to go with this one. Damn it. Yeah. Look, that, that red thread, even this one's not quite, this is more brownie red. Yeah, I think you're right. I was really torn, but this one actually I discarded. It was really between these two and yeah. I was thinking, should I make two? You like the third one? 
Which one? Oh, did you mean this one? Or this one? <laughs> I guess from their perspective, one, two, three. Yeah, see. Oh, yeah. So, okay, that's the new decision because this one has the right red in it. Yeah. So it's, got it's the one with the brown in. Anybody that did that, it was Z7554. Can you turn it over? Got that. See that red yeah, there? Yeah, the it's right, the right, right red. Because this is quite a bright sort of orangey red. Mm. Yeah, let's go for that. Done. Yay, and you can always make some more. Yeah, I'm going to keep these samples because they're so big and pretty. Oh, I believe that's the couture one. The couture one. one. Oh, I know. I really it. loved this one. It, is, it was between those two. In fact, it it's, is. Even before the live. If this is still available, I might get a skirt length of it anyway. anyway because I could always make two. And it would go because it's yeah. got that red there. Mm. It would go. It's just a bit darker. Yeah. So yeah, we're going with the one with brown. And quite a few people on um, Midhair Sewer said, what's lovely is you've got that extra element to make a blouse mm. in that brown color. Yeah. Um, or the cream, or, and it's got a little bit of glitter. A little bit of sparkle. A little bit of sparkle. That might look a nice fringe actually for the jacket. Cause it's yeah, really kind of in it. yeah. So there we go. Thank you everybody for your input. You've got to stick with that now. I very much appreciated it. So oh, I've got the wrong, the wrong video. video. Oh, yeah, how are you, Celia? I spotted Celia the other day and she had a I'm just put this leg in. nasty fall, didn't you? Well, your, your leg gave way. Oh, you know what else? Medicinal red off. wine. Hang Medicinal on. red wine is uh, definitely the right answer, Celia. <laughs> I hope you're feeling okay. Oh, Janet says that was her favourite. That's good. We were just, Celia, we were just looking at some Linton for Amy. We we're doing a couple of sew alongs making couture jackets and skirts using Linton. So Amy had a decision to make. Decisions made. Decisions made. Yeah, that's it. We're coming in this side. Oh. We're tidying up today. We so did. I can. Yeah, there's only one wire on the floor. Yeah. Blimey. So before yeah. we get to cocktails. Yes, we've got some updates, retreat updates. A little bit of updates on retreats yeah. because it's all been a bit mad and we keep adding them and then, oh, Janet says that was your favorite. Yeah. yeah. I think so, I really like that one. Yeah. I liked all of them, that's what was so difficult. Mm. I was really thinking, oh, I'll order these five. I'm bound to be one that stands out, but no. Give us the opposite time, just run up the corridor a bit out of breath. So Amy's, Amy's, got, Amy's going to give us a bit of an update on spaces that are left on the sewing retreats because obviously we, took, we, we launched our new Couture one Nick, last week uh, and that's got uh, already got quite a few yeah, It's been really it, popular. Uh, and some other bookings on different things. So we thought we'd let you know what's available uh, mm -hmm. so you know what's going on. So... First one's in Brighton, isn't it? In, so the first one is in Brighton. Uh, that's our retreat on the 25th to the 27th of August, which is the week before the August bank holiday. Yep. So some people are staying over in Brighton. Lovely. That's um, such a good fun one. That's at Jerry's Inn, isn't it? On it the, is. On it's the really lovely. Dance, right by the lanes, so and you can go shopping at Ditto. Yeah. Um, We've got six places left on that one. Mm -hmm. So that's good. There's nice lots of spaces. Um, we always get preferential... Uh, rates on hotel rooms yep. and things like that. So that one is available. Mm. Um, then the week after, uh, which oh, is the... Sorry, Nanny's just saying that's the one. That's the one you thought too. Yeah. Oh, yay, Nanny! <laughs> <laughs> Nanny liked that one. Uh, the week after is the 1st to the 3rd of September mm -hmm. is our Makers Atelier retreat, which, I mean, these retreats have been postponed twice, so they were supposed to be last spring. Mm -hmm. Um, so that is 1st to the 3rd of September. We only have two places left on mm -hmm. that Makes Atelier retreat now. So we have another booking today. So on that one, that's just, uh, that's Frances and I both on that one. So Frances does lots of chat, talk about um, her patterns and how she comes up with them and gives lots of advice on style and colour and fabric. And I'm there to help with the sort of technical construction and that sort of thing. So it's great. We really love working together. And again, we do visits to Ditto. We go out for dinner. So yeah, and you've got both of us to us. Celia says, if you can get on Claire's Linton trip, do. Apart from the fabric, the cafe is second to none. <laughs> yes, it is Celia, isn't it? Yes, we love it. I know, we should call in and see you on the way up, shouldn't we? We're in Manchester. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the Mesa Atelier. Only two places left mm -hmm. in September. Then 17th to the 19th of November is Totness mm -hmm. uh, Retreat at Dartington Hall. Uh, we have expanded the room size now. So we now have five places maximum. That's it cutting it off but this one yeah. we've decided is going to be our slightly larger retreat mm. of the year um 
because we can have the great hall. So yes, why we've got not? the great hall. We can spread out. Why not? Yeah, break yeah. out areas, all sorts. Of yeah, things. I'm trying to work on getting a sofa in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be all go. For those of you that've been before, we're taking our own coffee machine. We're taking an espresso machine with yeah. us, baby. So don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about that. Yeah, the coffee was questionable, but yeah, it's okay. It we've got it sorted. Questionable <laughs> is not the word you used just now. I don't think. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we go we go to river for kitchen for dinner don't we so we that's, do that's just up the road we, we have also... we most people arrive on the tuesday because mm -hmm. it can be quite a long journey for people and we have a welcome dinner there in a private dining space and then uh, we go to Riverford Kitchen and we eat out in Totnes one night because we have to visit Stone Fabrics. So we go to Stone Fabrics and then wander down the hill to a nice restaurant there. Yeah, that well. was nice that place. It yeah. was, and then we finish with a uh, it's Totnes. What did we say? What did we say? We did, yeah, yeah, and and um, <laughs> Joe's coming. She knows. Oh yeah, she comes from Totnes. <laughs> it's Totnes girls. Did we say something different? No, oh. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, and then we have been a long week. As we finish on the Friday with a cream tea, of yeah, course, of course. Before we all go home, actually, most of us stay on the Friday night. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think more morning. people are staying this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's quite a few people staying on yeah. the Friday night, and that was really lovely last year. We all just mm -hmm. had a few drinks in the bar and had yeah. fish and chips or something. It was we? really nice. We, yeah. You do end up eating a lot on these retreats, so I'll just put that out there now. All yeah. of these retreats, you know it's my funky home. Exactly, oh. yeah, exactly. That's what I thought, Joe. You were there, and Joe's coming on the retreat as well. Totnes is very funky. It is, yeah. 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 So that's that one. Mm -hmm. Then next year, um, retreats are selling fast. So yeah. 23rd to the 25th uh, of March is our Brighton retreat again. Uh, that one has got a lot of spaces. We've only sold a few on that. So I've got sort of 10 mm. spaces left on that one. Our Brighton retreat normally is that time of year, actually. We just moved it's it to usually August. usually in March. Yeah, it's normally in March every year. So we don't normally do one in the summer. And then it will be the Makers Atelier retreat again on the 27th to the 29th of April. That one is selling out quite fast we've mm. only got six places left on that one um, and then it's our couture retreat on the 9th to the 13th of May I only have five residential places left mm -hmm. we have almost sold out on residential places um, we have four non-residential yeah. um, that you can do if you don't if you don't manage to get a place to stay at the hotel with us mm. we have four non-residential if you want to stay in your own if you're from the local area or if you mm. want to stay down the road we had a lovely lady last time called Libby who lived very Can't close by. Can't get hold of anyone to book a room at Totnes. Tried three times. Ruth, Ooh. I will email you my contact mobile. Yeah. <laughs> because I sent you her direct office number. So if I think she also, I've got her mobile number because she's roaming. So yeah, she's I'll not send that the to you. She. It's different with um, with Dartington. It's not a, it's not like a hotel like you would know like Jerry's Inn. It's no. a it's a trust. So it's run by it's, it's not run quite. As, it's mainly run by volunteers. Yeah, quite it's not quite as efficient. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's good. Not, and I think a lot of people are still on furlough, so their yeah. office hours may be different. But I will... Um, I'll, actually, she's quite good at emailing me, so I will email her mm. today and let her know. And I I'll, think Jean, said that Jean managed to book straight away, and Barbara was still waiting to hear back. The so email really address funny. changed. I was told it. reservations at Dartington, and then it changed the to guest, guest reservations mm. at Dartington. Um, but I'll email my contact today, Ruth, uh, when we come off the live and just mm. find out if there's a n different number we need to be calling. Um, and then let everybody know who's booked on. Yeah, because it's yeah, very so reasonable rates that we well. get. I mm. understand that there's plenty of time. There is plenty yeah. of time and the rates won't change, which is the bonus mm. because we yeah. get um, a secured rate. Mm. So the rates don't change. It's, I think it's £80 a night for a double room to yourself so it's it's good with breakfast. And the breakfast was good. Yeah, it's a good breakfast. Breakfast buffet. Um, so couture, yes. Yeah, so couture. So that's it. Five. Couture has been selling this week. Mm. Um, so yeah, very loads, excited. Loads of interest in that. So yeah. What about the cruise. Oh, the cruise. We this only have year? two places. Oh, there was yeah. This year we cancelled. Um, so the majority of the ladies have transferred to next year, mm. which is lovely. And we've got um, lovely uh, Mary's joining us next year. Yeah, we have okay. had a few additional bookings. So I actually think we've only got two places left on the cruise mm. now. Exactly. So if anybody was umming and ahhing about it, because we've had to transfer this year's cruise, it's uh, nearly full. Yeah. <laughs> <Next year. laughs> so, yeah, that's it. That's our event space. Oh, there we Barbara go. says she booked on the phone after filling in the request on the yeah. website. Yeah, she did say she hadn't heard back. So. Guest services ah, at Dartington Hall. There we go. Ah, thank Try you. that one. Guest services at Dartington Hall. Thank you, Joe. If not, 
I will just send out my contacts email and yeah. she'll hate it. But <laughs> <laughs> They're very complicated. I'm, like, I'm so sorry, Karen, but uh, all of these, all of these ladies need to put their hands. They do. It's very exciting. It's yeah. really I'm so looking forward to be able to do all these things again. We'll have such fun. We always have such fun. Mm. Look at this very Here cool comes trolley. the drinks, trolley. Oh, Joe, did your friend enjoy her Harvey Warbangers oh, last yeah. week? I meant to ask you that this morning when I saw you. Well, Talking about know. Harvey Warbangers, actually, after that, I just quickly did like on the website that I go for all my reference points. Um, it's like my learning site. I, uh, Linda, I am so happy you got on, got right on it. Yes. yes you, you got did. in just in time, just yes. before this year's was canceled, Mary. Um, spaces were limited, well mm. done. Um, the Harvey Wallbanger can be made shaken for a more delicate drink. Shaken oh. and strained into a coupe glass. Oh, there you go. There you go. And also, how do I, um, Amy direct. Oh. Um, my email, Barbara, is amy at claire-tyler.com. Yeah. So you can just email me. So yeah, just amy at instead of claire at. Yeah. I, I, I messaged Barbara and said she wants to come on the Tuesday evening. Oh, dinner. come join us for night dinner. Yeah. Lovely. Um, this is Barbara's first retreat, isn't it? It is, Barbara. Yes. Coming down with Jean. It's going to be so lovely. Um, but yeah, the other Galliano cocktail that um, I spotted was a um, Galliano Old Fashioned. Oh. So you use like a normal old fashioned with the whiskey, but you halve the whiskey and do half Galliano. Half Galliano? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you do a shot of whiskey and a shot of Galliano and make it exactly the same as an old fashioned. So you would use a bit more. That's literally the only two cocktails in the world that exist for a Galliano. <laughs> <laughs> That's so it's it in like its whiskey, Ruth, isn't it? Yeah. Try that one, Ruth. Next there you go. Add a bit of Galliano <laughs> to old fashioned. I don't know what it would taste like. So, so again, I've been sent a massive bottle of Bacardi here. Uh, this week we're having daiquiris. Yay. Um, oh, on it. She's on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're having daiquiris today. And this is not the um, daiquiri you might see in a, on holiday where it's all slush puppied up full of strawberries. This is the, the classic daiquiri, but it is the basis for those slush puppy ones. So you can... I feel you're not impressed with the slush puppy no, ones. No, because it's not a real daiquiri. <laughs> so, for a real daiquiri, you need yeah, real. <laughs> for a real one. Do it proper. Properly. There's quite a lot of equipment for this one. Sorry, I've got a knife down, honestly. Right. Bacardi or a white rum. Um, lime juice, so just freshly squeezed lime juice, and a demerara sugar syrup. So I made it myself. You just equal parts demerara sugar and water on the hob, simmer it until all the sugar melts. And then you've got a nice demerara sugar syrup. Um, that amount there, which is 300 mils. I just did a cup measurement of each. We can make lots of decorations then. We can make a lot of decorations. <laughs> <laughs> and ice, which I nearly forgot. <laughs> nearly forgot and now it's killing time. <laughs> So this is a shaken one then? This is a shaken cocktail. So we, I'm running out of space here, aren't I? Don't move even further. No, it's all right, don't, don't worry. So, um, shaken cocktail. So first of all, we need some ice. It is a double shot of rum per person, because that's the only alcohol that's in there. So 50 mils. Bacardi and Coke was the drink. Bacardi, well, white rum is a traditional mojito as well, so you can get a big bottle of Bacardi and then just make daiquiris and mojitos. Which Perfect. Are. And actually, if you use the molasses sugar syrup and mojito, it'd be so good. Um, then you need a shot per person, so 25 mils per person of fresh lime juice. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Glad I That's squeezed perfect. that additional line there. <laughs> and then you need 20 mils, so just under a shot per person of the syrup. So, squeezing in some of that. Good, that looks like the colour that it's supposed to be, so that's the bonus. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Then we're going to shake it. Yeah, 
this one. Yeah. I look forward to making it. So same as always, shake it until it's too cold on the outside. You can move on to this senior after you've read wine, very medicinal. Medicinal daiquiri. I would recommend if you freshly squeeze your limes, doing a double strain. So you've got the normal strainer, this one, sprung strainer, and a sip. Because it'll just catch all the little lime. And all the gear. It'll catch all the little lime bits and give you a really pure drink. We were doing garnish this week. Oh, are we? I know, because you, you moaned at me that I didn't do garnishes. <laughs> and I used to do garnishes every week. I know, I did say, didn't you? No garnish this week. Garnish. Yeah, it smells good. I like when you use these glasses as well. These oh, are the nicest. Victoria's here, she's saying she's thirsty. Uh oh. Just you wait, Victoria, so we can have these together. Yeah, you'll have to just come and do a fabric delivery on Friday. Yeah, when, we, when we're just open. Just in time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's strained. And then for a traditional daiquiri, we've got a peeler and everything this peeler. week. Take a lime, peel. If this will work, I really hope. Oh, that's why I've got the knife as well in case it doesn't. Try and get. No, that's not. That's why I bought this. <laughs> so you're just going to get just the zest. You just want, but you need a bit of the pith because you need it to curl. Ah, uh, okay. So try and get round the entire lime if you can. I think I'd like that one. It's all those slush puppy cocktails that put me off. Yeah, me too. I don't like them. Yeah, you want a proper daiquiri. You though. want a proper one. This isn't a really Rainy's daiquiri. Yeah. But if you, I'm not saying, I mean, a lot of people do like those really sweet drinks. And if you do, you basically do exactly this. And then you put this with a load of strawberries into a blender. Mm. So it's exactly the same base. Um, or you can do bananas or pineapple or whatever you side so once you've got a nice strip I then cut off Celia says it's a brilliant idea because she's not in, she's not currently in charge of the sewing machine oh well there we go <laughs> so, you're cutting little thin bits you now. cut little thin strips off Ooh, a sharp knife. this knife looks like it's really sharp <laughs> yeah I've only been using it but it's not Open packets. That's in packets. <laughs> so you've got a nice little thin strip, and then you can take anything, like uh, if you've got one of these spoons, these are great. Just wrap it around the spoon. This is a proper garnish. Proper garnish. <laughs> so wrap it around until it holds its memory. I didn't think of that. Can't get it off the bloody thing. Straws are probably better. <laughs> you just get it a nice little, like that. You could do it around your finger or something, actually, it would work as well. But yeah, there we go. Ah, this is quite good. Though. It'd be actually better around a straw or yeah, something, but it needs to be quite hard, so a straw yeah. might not work. A uh, stick. A stick, yeah. A stick of some kind. <laughs> Look in the garden. Not a garden stick, no, no, maybe like a cocktail stick a, or a well, kebab yeah, stick. A kebab stick. There we go. Lovely. There oh, we go. Happy daiquiri. Yes. Happy Friday, happy daiquiri. Happy Friday, happy daiquiri. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, you've got to try one of these. You went straight back in. I did. <laughs> mm. That's very yummy. Actually, Celia, if you like margaritas, you will like this. Mm. It's very similar to a margarita. I was in Palm Springs with, with Celia once, and we had, went to a Mexican restaurant, didn't we, mm. Celia? Do you remember? And the margaritas were in like, like, like bowls. Do you remember that? <laughs> it was brilliant. Lovely. It's yeah, we love a margarita. margarita as well. That's so nice. Yeah, lovely. Mm. Mm. Yeah, daiquiris. And you can make Cheers, you, you can make big jugs of it, like the same mm. with margarita. You can make a massive jug of. Um, margarita, yeah. but um, if you're trying to be fancy, <laughs> happy days, Barbara. <laughs> happy days. Yeah, cheers, everybody. Go and try that one, it's really nice. Yeah, lovely. And your little lime twist, looks yeah, quite pretty, it's pretty. On the edge. and you can drop it in. Proper cocktail, proper <laughs> cocktail. <laughs> Let us know what you think of that one. Yeah. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah, bottoms up. Steve. I'm drinking yeah. all of this one this week. Sometimes we don't, mainly because they're too potent and mm. we have to drive home. <laughs> 
You might have to stay a bit later today. So might have, everything. I've got lots of yeah. things to do. So. Sue's saying yeah. cheers with a little glass. Cheers, Sue. Oh, thanks, Mary. <laughs> like happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> we will be here next week. I know next week's Good Friday, but we're going to be here. Well, maybe we'll have an Easter cocktail. Let's make any funny. It's going to be a funny, spooky one. Mm. <laughs> so, yes, we oh, will be the ice. Right, we will be here next week. We'll have an Easter cocktail. We're going to think of an Easter cocktail. I will think of an Easter cocktail. An Easter cocktail next Friday. We will be here. We'll have a great week. Um, we'll also join us on so long if you can. Otherwise, we'll see you next Friday. Keep in touch. Send us pictures. I've got to go. I've got to go. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, James. Do we do, oh. on the, do we do cocktails on the retreats? Barbara's asking me. Absolutely. Do do in cocktails? fact, in yeah. fact, uh, we've decided that there will be a cocktail masterclass run yes. by me on all of the retreats. Yeah, Amy's going to do cocktail masterclasses. So there we go. It's going to be great fun. <laughs> uh, Cynthia's just put, I love daiquiris. Great tip about the Demerara sugar syrup. Mm. That's going to put paid on doing any knitting tonight uh -oh. <laughs> would love to see your take on a gimlet oh okay Cynthia thank you for that I shall yeah I can definitely do a gimlet yeah I love a gimlet what's in a gimlet we have to find out next week oh okay I will be surprised <laughs> <laughs> Barbara's got to add things to her shopping it's demerara sugar yeah limes it's much body. better than normal sugar syrup because it's got that caramelly oh. texture rather than being too sweet it's really nice there we go lovely so thank you so much for joining us this week it's been really lovely um and we will catch up with you next week same time same place bye everybody, bye everybody. Have a great week. <laughs>